We have agreed that Norway and the U.S. will work together to ensure that efforts to reduce emissions from tropical for forests will be an important element in a deal in Copenhagen. U.S. leadership is crucial if we are to succeed in combating climate change. Mr. President, you are providing that leadership. We discussed Afghanistan. I welcome the stronger and broader U.S. involvement aimed at ensuring development and stability. I have no doubt that there are others who uh, may be more deserving. Uh, my task here is to continue uh, on the path that I believe is not only important for America, but important for uh, lasting peace and security in the world. Uh, the goal is not to win a popularity contest uh, or to get an award, uh, even one as uh, esteemed as the Nobel Peace Prize. The goal has been to advance America's interests, uh, to strengthen our economy at home, and to make ourselves a, uh, a continuing force for good in the world, uh, something that we've been uh, for uh, decades now. And uh, if I'm successful in those tasks, then, um, then hopefully some of the, uh, the criticism will subside, but uh, that's not really my concern. And if I'm not successful, uh, then all the praise and the awards in the world uh, won't disguise that fact. We believe we've got the right strategy. We believe uh, we can execute this strategy, that we can build Afghan capacity, protect population centers, uh, and uh, blunt and degrade the Taliban capacity so that beginning on July of 2011, uh, we are beginning to transfer responsibility to the Afghan people and Afghan security forces. Uh, I've been unambiguous about this, uh, so there should not be a debate. Starting in July 2011, we will begin that uh, transition, that transfer of responsibility. The pace at which that takes place, the slope of a drawdown, uh, how it occurs tactically, those are all going to be conditions-based. I think it's very important to understand that uh, we're not going to see some sharp cliff, some precipitous drawdown. Our whole concept here is to train and partner with Afghan forces and to transfer to them even as uh, our troops are fighting alongside each other. It's also important to understand that uh, several years after U.S. combat troops uh, have been drastically reduced in the region and ISAF troops have been reduced in the region, the Afghan government is still going to need support for those security forces. We are still going to have an interest in partnering with Afghans and Pakistanis and others in dealing with uh, the remnants of uh, terrorist activity there.